My name is AJ Steers, and today I'll be demoing how anyone can build their own chatbot using PyAirbyte. PyAirbyte is the newest offering from Airbyte, and it allows you to run Airbyte directly in Python, which means I can run it within this Google Colab notebook on the web. After we set up the prereqs, we will extract data from the source, we'll publish some data to the vector store, and we'll build our custom chatbot. Our source data in this case will come from GitHub. We'll load it automatically to an internal DuckDB cache, and we'll use the, the new PG vector destination to perform chunking, vector embedding, and loading to PG vector. Lastly, with a few lines of code, we'll create our own AI chatbot that runs directly in this notebook and is able to calculate embeddings and do knowledge lookup on the fly. PyAirbyte is easy to install. It can install anywhere with just pip install Airbyte. We're going to run the installation of Airbyte and a couple other tools, specifically OpenAI, right now. Next, we'll import the Python libraries we need, connect to Postgres, and install PG Vector. I've run each of those steps and we'll look into each one now. In the imports are pretty easy and we set up our OpenAI key. Connecting to Postgres, we just provide our credentials. And installing PG Vector, first we just check that we have connectivity to the Postgres database, and then this simple command will install PG Vector into any Postgres database that supports it. Now we're ready to start extracting data. Here's how the GitHub source is configured in Airbyte Cloud, OSS, and Enterprise. You can see that there's a configuration space, a, a friendly UI where you can enter the name of the source, you can authenticate, and you can provide any other configuration that is needed for this connector. We're going to perform the same thing that you would do in cloud, but we're going to do it here in code with PyOBite. The source name is source GitHub. As we just saw, the configuration is a list of repositories. We'll use the Airbyte repository and your input credentials. We're using get secret to get the personal access token for this stream. And if we run this cell, we can see that Airbyte will read data from the source and store it in our cache. This completed extremely fast because everything is incremental by default. Now we're ready to publish data to the vector store. Similar to our GitHub source, we can configure the PG vector destination in Airbyte Cloud, OSS, or Enterprise using a friendly UI, specifying our chunk size, fields to store as metadata, fields to store as text, text splitters. We can choose different types of splitters, including a markdown splitter. We can specify our embedding settings. Let's see how to do that now in Python. So we call the get destination creation and we give it the name of our destination here. Optionally, we can pin to a specific connector version or a specific pip URL. While this is running, I'll walk through the config for this destination. The indexing is simply the connection to the Postgres database. The embedding section defines how we will calculate our vectors. And in this case, we're using OpenAI. And then finally, in the processing section, we can specify which text fields we want to treat as text and our chunk size and overlap for text splitting. We're going to use text fields of body, title and body, and chunk size 660. And finally, we'll, we'll begin to write the data. Once this completes, we'll be able to create our AI bot. To build the bot, we just need three simple functions, get vector, get related content, and ask questions. We'll walk through each one step by step. First of all, to get a vector. We're gonna create a simple function here that takes any question you might have and converts it into a numeric representation. We can test this by typing in any question that we have and running that formula. With each question that we ask, we get a different vector created. Next, we need to find relevant document chunks for that vector. Here we have a simple SQL statement. We can understand the RAG application simply by understanding SQL. Next, we write a Python function that wraps that SQL and then prints out the output. We create this function and test it. Here, we can ask any questions that we have, run them in the same form. We can see what chunks in our data set are similar to the questions that we have. We've been able to convert a question to a vector We've been able to find related document chunks for each vector or for each question. Now, as a final step, we're going to take a prompt template, which is just a set of instructions for the AI. We're going to make a function called getAnswer, and this is simply going to, within our prompt template, put that context that we found related to our question and then print the output. That is our AI bot. So any question that we want to ask, we can 
get an answer based on the information that is in our vector store. In this case, we're able to see issue numbers, we're able to see a summary description based on all of the related content in our system. And I could type in any question I wanted here and it would dynamically provide me an update for my question. I'm using a drop down in this case for the demo purpose, but of course you can type anything you'd like. Here I could type in how cool is AJ? And if our knowledge base has anything about me, it would say AJ is very cool, apparently. So we created a pipeline in just a few minutes, extracting data from GitHub, loading it into PG Vector, and we create a simple chatbot that calculates embeddings, looks up knowledge in our knowledge base, and then asks the LM for an answer to a question. I hope you've enjoyed this demo, and we've barely scratched the surface of what you can build with Airbyte and PyAirbyte. Whether you prefer a code-first approach or the friendly UI, Airbyte has got you covered, and we can't wait to see what you'll build.